Hey everybody, Sinister Lex here with Coastal Morning, back for another freelance video. This one's talking about Upwork, creating specialized profiles. Before we get into this, remember to rate, comment, subscribe, click that get notification bell if you want my notifications, and also remember the free Discord chat below, where you can hang out, talk freelance with us, get answers to problems, anything like that. It's totally free, there's a link below. So. This question, this isn't a question, but this this whole thing, the specialized profiles, I know a lot of you don't know what that is yet, it's in beta mode. It was brought to my attention by Vedant, who is a member of our Discord chat. He also follows the channel, and uh, yeah, we have him to thank. So if you see him in the chat, give him a shout out. Thank him for bringing this to our attention so that we could even talk about it. So Upwork specialized profiles, what are they? I mean, this is a whole new concept. This might even be a game changer, you could say. But Upwork is getting ready to roll out some specialized profiles where regularly you have your profile, you write out your bio, you put all your work history in there, and it's it's a combination. So you've got all these freelancers who are combining skills, like in their job title, in their in their title they might say, I am a graphic designer and a copywriter and a web designer and a virtual assistant. It says all those things in their title. It's a mix and it's a it's a mix and match, you know, they're a jack of all trades. And that isn't to say just because they are a jack of all trades doesn't mean that they're not skilled in any one of these areas. They might actually be very skilled in multiple areas. So what Upwork is doing is allowing those freelancers to break these skills down into separate parts of their profile, specialized areas that clients will be able to click on and see and then see specialized information for each skill. So let's say I'm a copywriter, that's my main skill, but I can also do web design. Now clients don't know that about me, so they might not hire me for web design, they might not invite me to those gigs, they might not respond to me if I apply to those gigs, because my whole profile is centered around copywriting. But what this does is allow you to separate parts of your profile and show specialized work history based on the skill that you're offering. You'll be able to do certain things like set your rates, according to that specialized skill you'll be able to set different titles for that skill so if they click on that part of your profile it's just going to show different information from what's in the main part of your profile my guess and i guess some of you will probably come to the same conclusion is that this is probably going to be a paid feature once they finish beta testing it so right now it's in beta beta phase if you don't know what that means that means they are testing the program they'll be sending emails out to some people to go ahead and test this for them we don't know who will be the qualifying people who get to test that but some people will be testing it it's going to start out it looks like in mobile development projects so that's where they're going to start this out if you're in mobile development maybe you will be someone who they reach out to to do this testing but you can see that's where their early stages are they're saying for example you can separate out the work you've done as an iOS developer from your work as a translator or graphic designer qualifying freelancers will receive an invite by email blah blah blah, blah. so they'll be it says later we'll add the ability to submit a specialized profile with a proposal or have it shown in search so this is really really interesting you guys this means that when you go to apply for gigs later on once this is out of beta mode Instead of you sending a proposal and people look at your profile and they see you you apply for a web design job but your profile shows that you're a copywriter or a graphic designer, you'll be able to send proposals and the client will see a web design pro uh, profile. So if you're submitting for a web design job, you'll be able to submit your web design version of your profile with that. So this is tailored profiles based on your skills. Scrolling down here, you can just kind of see some of the features they've got. They've got all the main features. You'll be able to view how your specialized profile looks to the client. You'll be able to publish or unpublish it so clients can't see it when you don't want them to. You can delete it, you can edit it, all that good stuff. Going down to the frequently asked questions on this page, and by the way, I'll link this page down below so you guys can check it out for yourself if you want to, but you can see the frequently asked questions here kind of getting into the differences between the specialized profile versus the generalized profile. On each specialized profile, you'll be able to set your title, overview, and rates. So this is really powerful stuff. This means you'll be able to have an individual specialized title. So when they look at you, it's not going to say web designer, copywriter, graphic designer in your title. It's just going to, you're going to have that one skill. And this, this kind of hints at the fact that niching down works really well. So we've talked about this in the past. I always tell you to pick one title with like up to three words maximum that shows the one skill that you do. Now they're letting you do that and they're letting you capitalize on that more by allowing you to pick multiple specialized titles but still show one specific title for each, each specialized profile. 
Also, it's really interesting and very cool that they're going to let you set different rates based on the skill that you do. So if you're a copywriter and you write for, you know, let's say you do $200 per page, well, you're not going to want to offer that same rate for web design pages. You might want to offer $1,000 per page for web design. You know, it might be something totally different and much higher, but clients aren't going to know that if they're just reaching out to you. But with a specialized profile, you could set like $200 an hour on your copywriting profile and maybe $500 an hour on your web design profile, something like that. That's just a, an example. You wouldn't, I don't know what you would actually set your rates at, but that's an example. You will also be able to have individual overviews. So this is really cool. This means you can write a different bio for each skill that you do, targeting specific pain points of that skill. You can have your general bio to get people interested, or you can have your specialized bio, bio based on the skill. So when you send off your proposals, you're sending clients back to a specialized bio that is going to be able to target their pains and get them interested in working with you. Makes sense and I love that. It says you'll also be able to show which portfolio and work history items you'll be able to decide which ones show as far as I can understand. So you'll be able to set specific portfolio pieces so you can maybe upload a whole bunch of different stuff. You can upload copy design, web design, graphic design, development design, illustrations, music, whatever it is. <clears throat> and then you can only show the relevant pieces to the gigs that you're applying for. It says there's also going to be more detail about the type of skills you have within iOS, Android and cross platform work. So keep in mind that's for the beta phase, I mean, that, this is what they're rolling out. They're rolling out with mobile development first. By the way, that may be a hint to some of you that mobile development is a skill that is on the rise that they need. If you're trying to get approved on Upwork, maybe mobile development could be a useful skill to use to get your profile approved. What else we got? They've got some stuff about what stays the same, the rest of the parts and profiles are staying the same, the skill test, the education background, employment, all that stuff's gonna stay the same. Portfolio project details, you don't have to show all the projects on specialized profiles, but their titles, attachments, and other details will be the same everywhere they appear. So your job success score is gonna stay the same. You're not gonna have a specialized job success score, at least as of this moment, for each of these. You'll just have one job success score. Showing who can create a specialized profile, it's gonna be the test is focused on the mobile development category. Freelancers who have completed mobile development projects in the past will be invited to create a specialized profile in the coming weeks. So you have to have had mobile development experience through Upwork already. And then it says, they, we hope to roll out the option to other categories next year. It says this experience is not yet available for agency members, but I don't think that means it won't be later on. You can see who sees your specialized profile, the clients, or if you decide to hide it, they won't be able to see it. How will a client know I have a specialized profile? So it's gonna, there's gonna be something to indicate on your profile that it's a specialized profile. So clients can see that, they can click to switch over. So this is for like clients who are inviting you to gigs or who are browsing you in some way, shape or form. They're browsing your, your profile through the search button. They will be able to see that you have specialized areas and click on those and see what you've done in those areas. And then we've got what are what are the future plans to expand the specialized profile after December we'll make changes to search so that we can show the profile view most relevant to that search. Eventually, you will also be able to choose which profile to submit with your proposal and clients will be able will begin creating projects using a template that matches these new profiles. Depending on testing results and feedback from our users, the goal is to eventually branch out to more categories in 2018. So I'm not sure what they mean by you'll be able to choose which profile to submit. I mean, I get that part, but then it says clients will begin creating projects using a template that matches these new profiles. My guess is that all of this is, a, they're trying to match you up better from the start. They're trying to get clients matched up with better freelancers, better quality upfront in the start, you know, and I've noticed some changes on the client side too. It's a little bit more challenging for me to decide what skill I want to offer. Like when I go and I post a job on Upwork now, they only give me a limited number of categories to choose from for which my job can even be posted in. And sometimes I'm not really sure if it's the right one or not. So it is what it is, but maybe this will help match clients up with freelancers based on these different proposals or different profiles. Now, a couple of questions I have that I'm wondering about is one, 
how many specialized profiles will you be able to have? Because these are going to allow you to test different things. You can test and see which areas you get invited to more. You can test which areas get you the best responses. You could probably even test multiple versions of your bio and of your profile to see which gets the best results. So I want to know how many specialized profiles will we be able to use? That's a question they need to answer in the future. And also I want to know maybe this is something internally that's something for us to test is just how well will this do with SEO with ranking on Google with people finding us with people finding us in search will this give us some kind of advantage and then last but not least will this be a paid service or will this be free for all freelancers I'm guessing probably not I'm guessing it's probably gonna go in their $10 per month charge so we will see though we will see in the upcoming months how this rolls out how it all plays out let me know your thoughts on this do you like this idea how do you feel about specialized profiles and do you see any huge advantages or disadvantages to this let me know your thoughts down below i'm sinister lex with coastal morning thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time